What's going on guys? This is David here. Today I'm going to show you how to get the flux functionality on iOS 9 without a jailbreak. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started in today's video. So as you guys can see, unfortunately you will need a Mac in order to do this. Uh, you will actually need to have access to Xcode, the latest Xcode, Xcode 7, as well as you need to have an iOS 9 device. Now this could be any iOS 9 device, it doesn't have to be the iPhone 6S. This is just an example because I have the iPhone 6S on iOS 9. You're going to go to, you know, open up the App Store on your Mac, search for Xcode, download the latest version, Xcode 7. It might take a little while because it is, you know, pretty, you know, it's a few gigs, so it, it is, it does take up a little bit of storage, so you're going to be waiting a little bit of, you know, time for this to actually go ahead and install. Next, we're going to go ahead and go down to the link in the description below, which is this little GitHub project. Uh, it says Anthony A. 1999, good night. We're going to go ahead and download that zip. And then once we have that, we're going to go ahead and click on it to extract the zip onto just a regular folder. So once we have that uh, downloaded and once we actually have Xcode fully installed and working, all we need to do, go ahead and do now is go ahead and just open up Xcode on our computer. And once we have that open, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys this. So just give it a second. And there it is. So open another project. The other option won't be there for you guys. So open another project. We're going to go ahead and press that now. And then go ahead and select the Goodnight Master folder, which is the folder we just extracted. And here we go. It'll start to build the project up. So there it is. It says Goodnight iPhone 6S Plus. Now what you, you guys are actually going to have to do is plug in your iPhone or you know iOS device to the computer. So it doesn't have to be an iPhone. It could be any iOS device. It just has to be on iOS 9. So make sure you plug that into the computer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have my iPhone 6S right over here. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and plug that into the computer like so. Once we go ahead and do that, it should go ahead and recognize my phone. Um, and once it does, we can go ahead and proceed with this tutorial. So there you go, so it's plugged in. We're gonna wait, and there it is. So I'm just gonna kill photos real fast. And anyway, so now we have where it says bundle identifier. We're going to wanna keep the com uh, dot something dot good night, but we are going to want to change the uh, thing in the middle to whatever you want. But before we do that, we're going to go to uh, the drop down menu and then preferences. And then you need to make sure that you have your Apple ID actually in there. So it might come up with a little bit of an issue. It might say that there's a little bit of a problem. All you have to do is press fix issue. And if it doesn't work and it keeps saying, you know, the string isn't valid, whatever, uh, change the de development target to iOS 9 um, and change the bundle identifier. Uh, to something else. So I'm going to say com.appleattack.goodnight. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And once I have that, uh, you're going to need to go ahead and click on team. And next, uh, whatever Apple ID you have, uh, you know, signed in with this is what you're going to actually put there. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and select 9.0 as a development target just to make sure that it will install okay. So we're going to go ahead and press choose. It's going to say resolving code signing issues and then it should go ahead and fix the problem. Now we're going to select my iPhone. So David's iPhone, there it is. So now we're just going to go ahead and press the little play button at the top corner of the screen right over there. And we will see that it says build succeeded, but it will kick back with a small error message pretty soon saying could not launch good night process launch failed security so this is actually caused by the fact that you are going to need to go ahead and install some profiles so in order to get over there you go to general and then profiles and then you should see your little uh, you know iCloud thing there we're gonna just go ahead and press trust and there it is it says verified so good night is now verified to launch so now we can go ahead and back out of that. And now if we go over, we see Goodnight, and there it is. We can go ahead and launch it, and it is fully working. So now we can go ahead and close out of Xcode, and then close our Mac and unplug our phone from our Mac, because we are actually done. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys all of the different things that Goodnight iOS has on it. So here we go, guys. Here is my iPhone 6S. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> here is good night, and we actually have waited a long time for this. This is the iPhone 6S, so I can use 3D Touch, which is actually so awesome. So we can go ahead and enable the temperature, and there you guys go. So you guys can see that the temperature of the screen actually went ahead and changed, and we can actually go ahead and 
throw it down all the way to just that little orangey color which looks super cool and super nice now this was you know before previously previously before good night came out uh this was actually only available via flux uh if you had a jailbreak so this is the non-jailbreaking way of doing this um, and so far, this is the only way to get it on your device. Now, um, there probably will be eventually a way to go through Safari and actually install it via possibly revoke certificates or something along the lines of that, but you guys could see automatic color changing. So at a certain set time each day and each night, it'll go ahead and change the colors. We have, or temperature, we have colors here. So we have RGB sliders. So you guys could see it gives off that nice little bluish tint there. Uh, we have a little bit of green there, and I'm sorry if uh, the colors are a little bit off. I am partially color colorblind, so uh, this is not the best thing for me to uh, be talking about on YouTube, but it's whatever. And this is really cool because say you had a rose gold iPhone, this uh, kind of tint would actually, pre it, would, it would be pretty cool for your uh, rose gold iPhone. I think it would complement it really nice. So, um, or if you had a pink case or whatever, you could just go ahead and customize that. So that's the really, really cool part about this. You know, I, I, I wanted to say tweak so badly because it feels like it's a jailbreak tweak, but it's really not. That's the nice thing about this app. It feels like a jailbreak tweak, and it feels like, you know, I, I was using this earlier today in class, and someone was like, you jailbroke your iPhone 6S, and I was like, no, there's not a public jailbreak out for it yet, and everyone looked at me like, you know, that was really weird, because it looks like I do have a jailbreak on my phone with this, so this is really cool that this functionality can actually be given to an iPhone or any iOS device for that matter without a jailbreak, it's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, so it's uh, I'm really excited to see what happens with this. The only thing is though that uh, kind of stinks is that if you you know enable more than one thing at a time, it'll give you a little error message as I just showed you guys there. It'll basically just say you can't have more than one thing toggled on at the same time. So in order to toggle on something else, you have to toggle off something else first. So that is good night iOS, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter to get notified about when I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace. <laughs>